What is politics? Is it the talking heads we see on TV? Is it political action groups and lobbyists? Is it the rhetoric that we hear from politicians? Or is politics the actions taken to ensure the well-being of the community? Now, this video is going to be a little bit shorter than the others because I tend to get really pissed off when I start talking about politics. Stupid. Childish screaming. Not even trying to act like rational adults. The political machinations. Oh, so frustrating. The backroom dealing. The power corrupt. Backstabbing. Would you do that? No. Just insane. It's not so bad. It's a nice case. Ah, shut up on your face. Consider the word polis. It's a Greek word meaning city, and it gives us words such as metropolis, which literally means mother city. You see, back in the day, the cities would sometimes send out a whole bunch of colonists to found a colony, and they would refer back to their home city as metropolis. Now, these cities were usually uh, the biggest and the best that they had because they were the ones who could afford to send out colonists in the first place. And that's why I refer to large urban centers as metropolis. Now, polis also gives us other words such as cosmopolitan, which means citizen of the world, and I kind of like that idea, but it also gives us uh, words such as police. Now, first, police was uh, pretty much indistinguishable from that other word, policy, both referring to uh, civil administration. But over time, police began to refer to uh, the application of the policies that the civil administration had enacted, and that's how a police officer began to be a person of the city. Uh, they would guard it from internal threats, much like an army would guard the city from external threats. Well, what about politics? As far as I can tell, politics isn't the Byzantine soap opera that we so often see on news programs. Rather, it's the policies and actions taken to ensure the success and well-being of the society thus governed. Now, I define the role of government as to provide the most and greatest opportunities for its citizens as possible. In this way, the society will be healthy, the citizens will be happy, and the community's well-being will be secured. Now, not every idea about how to govern a society will cover all the possibilities. Societies evolve, and the government of that society has to evolve along with it. Of course, each type of government has its own various strengths and its weaknesses. Note that I'm not talking about corrupted systems. By definition, they've subverted the goals of that system, usually for some sort of personal gain, so we'll just leave them out of it for now. And one such idea for how a society can operate is a free and open marketplace. Now, such a market is good for incentivizing hard work and innovation, but a totally lawless market allows the strongest players to crush any smaller and weaker competitors. Ironically, this subverts the goal of such a market, that is to provide uh, the widest possible diversity of products and services to choose from. Now, we should also take note of what we choose to spend our money on. The market does not always reflect the highest aspirations of our society. And of course, a completely controlled economy doesn't really work out for the individual all that well, either. Now what about total anarchy? Officially, this constrains the individual the least, but a lawless society, much like a lawless marketplace, simply ensures a constant war between the strong and the weak. On the other hand, a totally authoritarian government doesn't always work out all that well either. You see, people tend to get a little pissed when they're forced to do things against their will, and the tighter you hold the reins, the more willing people will be to rebel. Secondly, an authoritarian government will never be flexible enough to adapt to a changing world. Now, hypothetically, an authoritarian government would be best able to restructure the society to fit the changing needs of a changing world, but this rarely happens. You see, those in power generally like things just the way they are, and so they're extremely hesitant to change things. The society stagnates. Societies, if they are to remain whole, need to strike a balance between all the competing forces on that society. The rights of the individual, security of the community, ensuring progress without blindly racing into trouble, uh, preserving the past without becoming anachronistic, etc. And of course, complicating things, that balance point is never going to be stationary. I started off talking about words such as polis and metropolis. Now consider some other words like pediatrician, physician, mortician. They're all caretakers of something. They take care of children, they take care of the body, they take care of the dead. So what does that mean for a word like politician? Well, that's it for today. I don't really have a whole lot of links down below because this is mostly just the sort of crazy messed up stuff that goes through my head. Um, but thank you for watching anyway.